Just finally, you spoke to US President-elect Joe Biden earlier this week. You invited him to visit Ireland. I think he said something uh, to the effect that just try to hold me back, uh, <laughs> suggesting that he'd like to make an early visit perhaps. Would you hope that he might come here while you're still in the office of Taoiseach? Of course I would. Um, we also discussed Patrick's Day and uh, we were conscious of COVID and he said, I just said to him, look, we, we, in, in some shape or form, we'll honour Patrick's Day. He was very warm towards Ireland and the Cooley Peninsula uh, and, and, and Mayo uh, and the, he, the influence of his grandfather in particular on him in terms of that Irish heritage. Uh, and also I, I took real uh, solace from uh, the sense of his orientation politically when, you know, climate change and in terms of rejoining the World Health Organization organisation, which is huge in terms of COVID and, and, and also places like Africa who depend on WHO uh, and, and can't, you know, who, who need that. And I think he's engaged with, with Ireland. I mean, he said to me, I've spoken to Boris Johnson, you know, I've told him Good Friday Agreement to us is very important. So I think this will be an engaged president. He'll be interested in Ireland. He has a deep affection. He doesn't hide it. Is it a, is it a significant plus for us in terms of our, our national interests that uh, there's been this change and that uh, he will be in the White House? I think it is. I think there's an open door to, to, to Ireland and to Irish interests. I wouldn't overstate it either in the overall scheme of things. I think what, what is important is that multilateralism that will be part, I, I sense, of the Biden presidency. Why is that important? We're an open, small economy. We depend on free trade. I, a good European Union relationship with the United States is important to Ireland. And Joe Biden is, seems to, to be of that mind. And that's important for the United Kingdom and Brexit because I think the UK will get this as well, that a good relationship with Europe and the United Kingdom really will help in terms of that US-UK relationship also. Uh, so I think all told, I think that it's, it's to me, uh, I welcome his, his, his election. Uh, I remember meeting him when he initiated the uh, St. Patrick's Day breakfast. He, he did that as vice president. Mm -hmm. uh, he told President Obama, I'm the only Irish guy really here and uh, I want to put my stamp on it. So he will be, I think he is the most Irish American president since John F. Kennedy and uh, I look forward to his presidency and wish him well. All right. Taoiseach Micheál Martin, thank you for talking to us on the News at One.